no pressure, but uh, woman, your depth is inconceivable. Just for some, you guys said for some of us, just the fact that you exist gives us a sense of being real ourselves, as opposed to nothing being real, including ourselves. That needs to be repeated. Just the fact that you exist, let some of us know we are real and everything else is, as opposed to not even being able to consider ourselves being real, much less else. That's the truth. No brownie points, but I butter you. I don't need. I mean, I'm just, I just, yeah, I didn't know. I, I just saw you through Gmail. I'm sorry I didn't check the Gmail. They don't give all things. Oh, Gmail doesn't give notifications. I, I guess you're, I'm just, since that's only, yeah, I'm, yeah, wow. The, 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 it's just the information lingering for days that don't have to. Your depth is inconceivable. I told you, your depth is inconceivable. I just, wow. Uh, so back to the, uh, so I, I just kind of like, if, if you'll start telling your story, I don't mean to, as you start telling your story, I'll stop telling mine. Mine isn't near as important. I, mine does some, some importance for anyone that decided it's similar because I'm in a rural area. This but mine again in a very rural area. Let's start with New Albany, Mississippi. <laughs> this is get Pacific. New Albany, Mississippi is where, you know, mine started. And a house with a chimney in the middle with the room surrounded it. And the mother of the woman I was with 18 years, not in that house 18 years, but was with, you know, dating for 18 years, came in the first time she visited, we were all playing on this little pool table in the room with the computer. And she looked up, she was just looking up in the corners of the room. I mean, it was just so obvious. It was the strangest, be unexplained behavior I'd ever seen in my life, to be honest. I was told a time later, year, I mean, years later that Somebody, I just, some of them, she still stole my laptop, you know, it's good. Oh, it's fine, no problem. That she was talking to the room. Even that, I'm like, that could have been for my benefit, couldn't it? It's just, a, I mean, that's, I mean, I didn't at the time, but like, uh, that's where I'm going with this story. Let's assume that was for my benefit. That's, let's have a better story than the, than what was intended, maybe. I don't know if that's about, very, I mean, I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know. I don't know if that's acceptable childish conclusion perception for me uh but we'll go with that uh, so the thing with the other entity is she had my brother's birth date and either they were i think it's a year apart they're either born on the same day or a year apart 418 april 18th 0418 and so her name was foster her last name was foster she was kind of unwanted that's why her name was micah they wanted a a son, I think they got seven, eight, nine years later. And, you know, so they were wanting a Michael. They got a, a female, so they named her Micah. She was very isolated. She claimed she was a, a woman told her she was the oldest undiagnosed case of Asperger's she'd ever seen. She admitted to being exercise of a demon before. She admitted to, like, years of control by other people. And the, the guy that called me best friend found her one day, like, but, you know, before I did, I know, I mean, well, I wasn't looking for her, but, uh, and supposedly, you know, he's her savior and all this and that might be, uh, I'm not good with defending males. That's why it's been so, it's, you know, it's, it's almost like I, once I, if I start attacking a female, I automatically am not myself anyway. So, but I have to, so the problem is these people incorporated me into their group. Like I said, the story started when she said me and the other guy. A mark were all the males and she was all the females. Now, who goes around talking like that? And then, you know, later on, she called me out of the half and I repeated this and she backtracked from it, but you know, it took her a while, it took her a few weeks to backtrack completely out of it. Got to five for some reason. I'll just throw that number in there. Uh, so five is a number that's a very significant number, but uh, more than uh, I would say a four or, or other numbers. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I'm sorry, my parents pulled up. I'm sorry. Uh, now I'm on. No, nobody's fault. So, um, there's reasons to assume the inherent cohesion and, and, you know, like, oh, this is part of me. This is part of me. Just the behavior over time just cannot be ignored. Just cannot be ignored, especially like this. 
when she said for the last time, well, we'll just like we'll just make them slaves. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, I'm not ignoring that red flag. It's like this is the last time I'm ignoring that red flag because that's what you do with people that you're loosely associated with, or you know, you're trying, you, you know, you think you're, you know, you're trying to be more tightly associated with because you don't know any better, and that's what happens. It's like. You get the last red flag, and it's like, oh, no, 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 dear. No, 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 no. But there was, the point is, it's like, there was dates. There was, you know, the name, Falstar. Even like, even my sister didn't know too completely. Like, I, I was waiting, my, my sister, she's, you know, she sees aura. She has some kind of something. She's she's no joke. Um, you know, she is, you know, she is more materialistic than I am. You know, most, you know, I'm not saying that negatively. I mean, not real. I'm just saying, you know, like, I'm, you know, because I, yeah, I got much attachment, so it's it's, it's easier for me. Obviously, that's this this a process. Uh, and it, but there was reasons, and there still are. There's reasons that even this date still think am I, you know, am I, you know, am I am I a demon? You know, that's what I'm understand what people. That's it's, it's easier for me to let it let it go on these on this kind of one sided presentation forums, and there may be others because it's like that's what it, now you know because their behavior. Had me constantly question if I'm one of them, then you know that that's you know that's who I am, and that's wow, that's a problem. Especially over time, it wasn't always such a problem, but just ignoring and ignoring the repeated patterns of behavior uh, became impossible. And it's like that's where I'm at now. So I'm never not considering, and, and I'm just I'm not using the word flippantly. It's just I don't know of another term like uh, that. I'm. You know, that I'm one of them, that I'm, you know, where their demons are not, that like, so whatever you all think I'm trying to say about myself and uh, build unjust, unjustified trust, well, I'm always, that's always in the back of my head, like, well, am, am I a demon? Because these other two have like clung to me and they, and like, it's only when I'm around, when they need me, it's like all of a sudden I'm part of a triad. And it's like, and that's part, that, that triad, I mean, if I'm part of that triad, then we all three need to get, you know, have, have, and all three of us, the earth needs to rid all three of us of herself. That you see where in the problem lies, their association, them assuming and them trying to convince me that I'm part of them means if they, if they're, if that's true, I have violated my rights on earth and have none anymore. And I, then there's nothing left from here but to suffer in your fear. And I would ch choose not to do that.